Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we are eating only Christmas themed food for the entire day. Yes. And we are starting out with cereal. It's difficult finding Christmas themed breakfasts. Yeah. Bre breakfasts. Luckily, we uh, yesterday, the day before? Yesterday. Yesterday. Yeah, we got a package from our uh, good friends in the US and they sent us a couple of Christmas cereals. If the, not, we wouldn't have a breakfast for no, today. No, <laughs> I don't know what we would do. The Elf on the Shelf, sugar cookie cereal with marshmallows. And Rudolph the red Nose Reindeer. Hot cocoa. Which one do you want to start with? I want uh, like a clean palette for this one. All right. This is the yeah. one I'm most excited about. Uh, uh, it's there's, no, there's no marshmallows. There's like... There's two or three. The this... You, you can't even see it on camera, I oh, think. But yeah. I do look, uh, they'll, I'll give them that. It looks like it looks like marshmallows. Yeah. Yeah, it looks like tiny marshmallows, but there's like th three in there. <laughs> That's a bit disappointing. I don't think I've ever heard about this, these cereals before. I'm just tasting it dry first. All right. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Hmm. Does it taste like flour? It does taste like, it does. Yeah? It does taste like flour. It's weird. And since there's so few marshmallow bits, it's not that sweet. No, it's not sweet at all, actually. And it kind of swells up in your mouth. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Yeah. It's kind of like it's made with baking pat, no, uh, baking soda. Mm -hmm. Okay, that's weird. That was a bit disappointing. Yeah, we had uh, the um, uh, Cinnamon Toast Crunch Sugar Cookie one. Yeah, that was the... limited edition a couple of years ago, I think. Yeah. And that tasted a lot more sugar cookie cookie-y. It's like very similar to Norwegian cereals like in terms of sweetness and flavor mm -hmm. but compared to other american cereals it was lacking a bit of uh, flavor and sweetness absolutely six yeah i think so too six yeah all right next one the red nose no rudolph the red nose reindeer if it tastes more than uh, count chocolate i'm happy yeah <laughs> yeah exactly oh this oh one. there's more marshmallows yeah this one has a lot of yeah. marshmallows I think if, if the other one had more marshmallows, it would be better. Probably. The, it, this is uh, reindeer, so I assume. You're right, uh, <laughs> I, I, I actually thought it was fish. It says flying reindeer. Yeah? That's better. Mm -hmm. That's better. I like the colors as well. There's like this Christmas Christmas-y. Yeah. Bon appetit. <laughs> Instantly better. Mm -hmm. It kind of reminds me like slightly of uh, Cocoa Pops. It, yeah. But just a little bit less flavor. Yeah, I agree. Than what I remember it was. Yeah, because I remember Cocoa puff, Puffs being a more intense flavor and sh more sugary. Mm -hmm. um, this is a lot better than the the other one. Yeah, it, it is. It's a lot sweeter and you definitely get like a cocoa taste. Yeah. I think that's um, a seven and a half. Yeah, I would agree. Mm -hmm. That's a seven and a half. It reminds me of like uh, our childhood cereals. Yeah, it does. Mm -hmm. So that's breakfast. We'll see you for the next meal. This is a super flattering angle. <laughs> <laughs> We're at a, a, a baguette place called uh, La Baguette. Uh, yeah, yeah, La Baguette. We saw that they had two Christmas uh, sandwiches. One with the uh, turkey brie and cranberry jam and some salad the other one has a uh, christmas ham and mustard and honey mustard i think it was. honey mustard and uh, cheese yeah and we have a christmas latte it's flavored with ginger bread cookie yeah I th yeah i think so let's try that first it tastes like a latte yeah it tastes like a latte yeah. it doesn't taste like a gingerbread it smells good though that's a lot of cream Yum. Should we try that one first? Okay. I love... Uh, oh, yeah, red uh, pickled onion. Oh, uh, well. yeah. I love honey mustard. Yeah, me too. That's good. Mm-hmm. That's actually really good. Yeah. Our view is very nice. I'll show you with uh, the other camera. And it doesn't really show up on camera. No, no. It's beautiful. Though. All right, should we try the turkey cranberry brie yeah. baguette? It doesn't even taste like a latte. It tastes like warm milk. <laughs> warm milk with cream. Okay. All right. I like the cranberry. Me too. That's pretty good. Yeah. But the cranberry does it. I wasn't sure about brie on bread because 
I like it with the crackers. Yeah. But it was good. It actually works. Yeah. It's, it's also a nice thin slice of bread. Mm -hmm. I just wish they would pack it with more turkey. Yeah. It's like one slice. Mm -hmm. Final bite. Overall, I would say that was actually pretty good. It's so seldom you find Christmas related food in Oslo. Yeah. And this was. Uh, Especially in restaurants and like cafe coffee shops and stuff. Yeah. Like Starbucks and all the other like coffee shops here doesn't have any Christmas themed things. Only drinks, no food. All other countries I've seen do that, but we don't. No. We're too small of a country. Mm -hmm. We wanted something uh, sweet after lunch. So we have some Christmas uh, marzipan. Yes. That's very typical here in Norway. But we also went by um, Backstube, uh, the bakery uh, here, uh, before uh, coming home. And we found these. So these seem to be like a German Christmas treat. Yeah, it's do dominoes. Oh, <laughs> but he's interested. It's a gingerbread and fruit jelly and marzipan covered in chocolate. That sounds delicious. It's that's that's my kind of jam. That sounds really good. So if you're from Germany, you'll have to let me know. Is this a common thing in Germany or is it just something they say? Because it says snacking is part of the Christmas season and one of the most popular sweets is the delicious Domino. Oh, they're the perfect size. Yeah, they are. They're good. They're really good. I like that. I like this this kind of stuff. I love. It doesn't. You can't really taste the um, gingerbread. No. Mm. But it's just like a nice. It's it's kind of, um, almost more like a sponge. Yeah. Mmm. And they're perfect size. Mm hmm That's good. I might have said bad things about German treats before. Are you? I don't know. Maybe. <laughs> but those are good. That's really good. Oh, that was nice, and it was a nice amount of uh, marzipan. Mm -hmm. And yeah, often some like fruit fillings like that can be, I think it can be weird. Yeah. But it went really well with the marzipan. But now this, I've been dying to have one of these, to find an excuse. <laughs> so it's these marzipan sticks with white sprinkles. I'm more of a Easter marzipan sticks kind of person because the marzipan inside the Easter ones are yellow and I think it tastes better. And the Tutti Frutti is uh, colored, and I feel like that tastes better as well. Oh yeah, it, but but does it actually taste any difference? Oh, thank you. Even with my taste buds being as low as they are, I can still taste it. Mm -hmm. It tastes good. Actually, this is this is really nice as well. Uh huh. I have to taste them side by side now. I feel like the, this and the Easter one. All right, we'll we'll see if we can manage to find a pack and then save it until Easter, so we can do. It. Mm hmm. It's like a lot of marzipan compared to chocolate, but it's perfect. I'm gonna, I think I want one more of those German bits. Yeah. After tasting the Norwegian, um, the marzipan stick, I do think I prefer the marzipan stick over that one. Yeah, I, I think I do too. Just because, mostly because of the sprinkles. It does have a very um, adult flavor. I was gonna you know, say, it, I was gonna say, it's like a grown up treat. It, it is a grown up treat. It's kind of like, um, I'm not sure how to describe it, but it's like. Liqueur. Type yeah, it's flavor. yeah, mm -hmm. yeah, it is very adult. That was good. Mm -mm. Next up, dinner. So we are back with dinner and we couldn't decide between two Christmas dinners, so we chose them both. Yeah. And they're both Norwegian Christmas dinners. So um, the first dinner is like the standard Norwegian uh, Christmas dinner, but this is like a, a what's it called? Like a ready. A ready made meal. Yeah, that you just heat up because we're. Lacy. <laughs> we can't today. spend multiple hours making it. <laughs> no, yeah. So we have ribbe, which is like pork with um, crackling on top, but the crackling here isn't crispy because it's already yeah, it's... meal. And we have uh, like pork patties and sausage. Yeah. And with the um, um, pic pickled. It's red. Uh, uh, yeah, it's red kind cabbage. of like sauerkraut, but just red cabbage. Yeah. And potatoes and sauce. So that's the. That's the main, that's the typical Norwegian Christmas dinner. That's what we have every Christmas mm -hmm. Eve. Christmas Eve, yes. Yeah. The 24th. Yeah. And the other one is, uh, we call it rice porridge. And we usually have butter and cinnamon and sugar. Yeah. So that's usually like a, we have that every like Christmas, like December time. Yeah. It's, it's something you eat like the whole Christmas, really. Yeah. And we usually also have uh, hidden uh, an almond. In the in the porridge, and the one who gets the almond gets a prize. Usually a marzipan pig. 
And we've uh, with your parents when we celebrate Christmas with your parents, we usually win. Yeah, we have actually. <laughs> and we also have this as like a dessert as well, because now it's just like I think it's just heated up with like milk. We also make it another way, like with cream, with the whipped cream, and that becomes like what we call more of a rice cream. And we yeah. have that with like a raspberry jam on top yeah that's delicious yeah i think maybe we should oh, have yeah. that first because it gets like weird on top mm, okay oh and we have christmas soda, christmas soda. the we best one we had to have that mm -mm. it's ages since i've had uh, rice porridge yeah mm. that's good that's i mean good. i'm always one that needs to have a lot of sugar on yeah cinnamon. And a lot of butter. Mm -hmm. The butter actually makes this. Mm -mm. This used to be one of my favorite dinners when I was a kid. The thing is, I'm always like, oh, I really don't want this. It's like, in my mind, it's kind of like boring. But every time we have it, I'm like, you know, that that that, that actually hits. Yeah, that's good. We also have another version of this without the rice and with sour cream. And we actually call it, like directly translated, it would be uh, sour cream porridge. That is very good as well. Okay, jumping into this I'm Homemade meal. Yeah, this had a lot of fat. It did. I'm taking that off because it's not normally it's very crackling but This is like super Not yeah, Matt tried because the crackling is usually so crispy like it's like a, it's insane, but um, Matt tried to like flambe it. <laughs> that didn't work. It didn't work, it work at all. I'm so looking forward to Christmas now. No, this no. This cannot be the homemade kind. No. No, but um, no way. But still, it's like it's still good. Yeah, you can taste that it's a ready meal. Mm hmm You can taste that it isn't homemade, but it's still good. And you need salt. Mm-hmm. Uh, I think we talked about this before. There is, uh, like in other parts of the country, they use, uh, like in northern parts, they have cods. They usually have like a whole cod for Christmas dinner. And on the west part of the country, they usually have <laughs> um, directly translated stick meat, which is lamb. Yeah. Like dried lamb ribs, which have been like rehydrated. Yeah. That's delicious. With like mashed um, vegetables. Yeah. And sausage, but yeah, people up north would probably never have this at Christmas, but we would never have cod. No, no, that no. would be like that's. That, <laughs> I would rather not have Christmas. No, yeah. <laughs> like a more of a dessert later yep but we also got something to have like as a immediate like after dinner snack um we have something in Norway called the seven kinds it's like seven cookie types that we make in during christmas and eat like throughout december mm. and one of those kinds are called brune pinner which is, is directly translated as brown sticks so when we were at the store, we saw that they have made like a new version of that. So we found brownie sticks and caramel and walnut sticks. I mean, that sounds, we had to get it. Yeah, the brown sticks, I think they're, they they like taste a bit like brown sugar. I think mm -hmm. so. Yeah, a little bit burnt. But brownie sticks, that has to be good. That sounds very good. Oh my gosh, these look amazing. Oh, they also feel like kind, of, kind of soft. They, they smell like brownie. Yeah, they do. It's like the crust of a brownie has been laying out overnight. Mm. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. That's what it is. It's a brownie crust. Mm hmm. This would be so good with coffee. We got to make coffee after this. Mm hmm. Oh. I like when they do things like this. Like. They make an effort yeah. to do something. To do something with the traditional thing, but only a new concept. Yeah. These were damn good. And I'm even more excited for the walnut caramel. I mean, they sound amazing. Yeah. Oh, smells good. Could taste more of caramel. Yeah, it's very light. Mm -hmm. Very light, but actually it's pretty good. It's a lot harder than the other one. Mm -hmm. but that's probably natural since they are brownies. But these were still good. Mm -hmm. Compared to the original brown stick, what would you say? I think I would have these. 
Fine. We will have um, more of a British Christmas dessert a later. Very traditional British one. Yeah. Which we none of us have had. No. So I'm very excited. A little bit excited. A bit scared, but mostly yeah. excited. Yeah, me too. Okay, for our final meal, we have a Christmas pudding. <laughs> We bought this at Iceland, the British supermarket. So this is a six month matured Christmas pudding with cider, sherry and rum. Interesting. I, as far as I know, I always thought it was like a, like a, a, a spiced cake with like fruit bits in it. But what it I, seems like, it's more just compact fruit. And it smells kind of, it smells like rum. So I don't know how I would feel about this. It looks weird. And I didn't know that Christmas puddings were matured. <laughs> uh, I didn't know either. I, I thought they were like, I thought it was like a cake. Yeah, I thought it was something you baked there and then. Okay. All right. Yes, yeah. Interesting. It's a very mature cake. It's very, yeah. It's, um... It tastes like it's alcohol in it. It does. Well, it probably is. It's not, it? it's not bad though. It's just weird. Yeah. Not something I would have. It's not, no, exactly. It's, uh, it's, it's not bad. Ooh. It's like raisins with rum. Yeah. It's quite dark flavored. I'm gonna... Extremely dense. Yeah. We didn't know if you were supposed to have something on it, like a custard or something, but we just made some royal icing. You know what? I think, I think, um, yeah. the second, the second bite was better. So I think this is something you can grow to like. Yeah. There we go. Ooh. That's more... You're missing the... Only missing the red uh, berry on top. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Let's give it... Give this a go. You know what? It's not that bad. I don't know if I like the icing though. I think custard would be better. Yeah. I think you're right. The pudding isn't that bad. I wouldn't buy it again. <laughs> <laughs> I can say that. <laughs> no. But it's fun to have tried. It's very rich. It is. And that's something we don't say often. No. Okay, that's gonna be it for the video. Uh, I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, give it a thumbs up and let us know your favorite Christmas food below and we will see you in the next video. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.